Hi everyone, today I will be doing my first book review and what I'm going to be doing is once a month I will be making a book review and post it on YouTube of a different book. So this month is um, September so I am going to be reviewing the Sisters Grimm series. So right now I have the last four books with me and um, I got them at the library and these are awesome books. I mean, they're so good. They're the best ones I've ever read. And I absolutely love this series because it's everything I want in a book. Like, it's the fantasy and fiction and um, the adventure. So I'm going to start. So the first book that's in the series is called um, Fairy Tale Detectives. And... Um, so basically the series is about two girls named Sabrina and Daphne Grimm. So if you've ever heard of the Brothers Grimm who wrote and um, put down their favorite fairy tales into books and volumes, um, basically Sabrina and Daphne are descendants of the Brothers Grimm. Keep in mind this is a fictional series so if you do read the Brothers Grimm it kind of gets confusing between whether it's true or false. So um, the Brothers Grimm is just those brothers that wrote down the stories and they wrote down these fairy tales which everybody thinks are just bedtime stories. Well, Sabrina and Daphne thought that too, but when their parents mad like just disappeared, they had to be sent into the orphanage and then they were sent to crazy foster parents. So, they absolutely did not like their life and but one day they hear that Somebody's going to take them in, and it's their grandmother. But the girls are like, wait, we don't have a grandmother. Our dad said she's dead. So apparently they're sent to live with this dead grandmother. And <clears throat> her name is Grandy Relda. Relda tells them all about how these bedtime stories are actually real-life people that live in the town that they just moved to, Fairyport Landing, which is just on the Hudson River, and it's in New York. So the girls are like, wait, fairy tales aren't real. But their next door neighbors are Little Red Riding Hood or <clears throat> um, Cinderella. So it's really cool the world they get to live in. But um, there's a series of magical crimes that happen. So there's a lot of magic in the town. And the town actually despises the Grimm's because their descendant, all the way back to the Brothers Grimm, put a magical barrier on the town to keep all the Ever Afters or the fairy tale people inside the town. So. They're like hating these Grimm's because they're the one that set up the spell that keeps them in the town and they can't get out. So the uh, the Grimm's have to kind of investigate like fairy tale detectives, um, these crimes that happen. So like people stealing stuff and um, I won't spoil it too much for you, but um, basically this is the, uh, it's called Tales from the Hood and it is the looks like the sixth book in the series. So these are the ones I have with me right now. This is called Tales from the Hood and this one is the sixth. So this isn't like the beginning of the story but this is one of the things that happen is that um, Mr. Canis, Granny Relda's um, companion, but they're not married or anything, but Mr. Canis kind of just like goes with her wherever she goes because he's got these magical abilities. He's the big bad wolf. So he's the one that killed <clears throat> Red Riding Hood's mo uh, grandma, sorry, and um, so Mr. Canis can end up being the wolf. And um, so they're trying to figure out how to um, get him out of court because he is being put on trial for stuff that happened like 600 years ago when he killed Red Riding Hood's grandmother. So <clears throat> this is the sixth book. It's all about his trial. This is the seventh book, The Ever After War, so it's all the Ever Afters are going out into war. That's what it looks like. And all the books have different colors, which is nice so you can, like, distinguish them. Um, sorry. This one's the eighth book. This is called The Inside Story, and it's when they travel throughout the book of Ever After, which is supposedly can bring you into every story of Ever Afters that ever happened. So, for example, you can go in Red Riding Hood's story and change it. So you can change the outcome, you can change characters and make characters, but the bad thing is that there's these, this person called the editor and his advisors that come and 
munch off the story, the parts that you remade. So, but if you get it at the right time, you can actually change real history throughout this book. So, this is all about the girls going into <clears throat> going into the Book of Ever After and changing some stories. So, um, but it's a really good book. And then that's the eighth book, and there are nine in the series. So this is the ninth and final book. This is called The Council of Mirrors, and this is when it finishes off the series. So I'm not going to tell you anything about this one until you read it because you're going to love what happens. Um, so these are kind of like what they look like um, on the side that says the number. And these are really good, and it tells more about Sabrina and Daphne's life. They document like a year of their lives. Um, towards the end in the last book, it shows some of Sabrina's journal entries, so all of the Grimm's put in journal entries, So, and it gives a glimpse of Sabrina's life once she has kids and she's married. So, these books are so great. They're, like I said, everything I want in a book. They are my favorite books ever, and they are just a great book for young girls like me, and they document Sabrina and Daphne Grimm, who are 7 and 11 when the book starts. So I hope you guys end up buying these books or going to your library, actually, because the library has these books at mine anyway, or just getting like an ebook or something. I'll read it in my Kindle or whatever, or your Nook, whatever you have. Um, I just definitely recommend it. These are a really good read. Anyway, so um, definitely try to get those, and I hope you enjoyed this book review. And I will be doing one of these every single month with a new book. So check and like kind of check my channel in the book review section um, for in October at the end of the month, close to Halloween, when I will be doing a October book review. And who knows what I'll do, what type of book I'll review then. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and check in for my next book review. Have a great day and um, check out my other videos. Bye.